Warning, the following program may cause excitability and, in extreme cases, nausea. Avoid attentive listening if you are pregnant or nursing a baby while operating heavy machinery. In case of accidental overdose, consult your psychiatrist immediately. From DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com, I'm Darren Marlar, and this is your Daily Dose of Weird News. This episode's brought to you by the audiobook True Tales of Haunted Places by G. Michael Vasey, narrated by Darren Marlar. Hear a free sample and support Marlar House by downloading the audiobook for yourself at DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com. A New York doctor is helping patients lose weight by swallowing balloons. And if that doesn't work after the first treatment, he then has the patient swallow the balloons instead of swallowing them himself. Vice President Mike Pence's cat Oreo died on Saturday. Wow, Adam West and Oreo both gone. What a tragic weekend this was. The final day of school rolled around in Marlin, Texas, and that was the day that a sixth grade teacher was arrested and charged with possession of meth. Well, you know, everybody celebrates their last day of school in their own way. A group of gay Trump supporters have been kicked out of the Charlotte, North Carolina Gay Pride Parade. Apparently, you cannot be a Trump supporter and be homosexual at the same time. I'm not sure how that works politically or sexually, but well, there you go. In California, police were called to a grocery store after a man threatened employees. The man left with 12 bottles of whiskey, a digital thermometer, and two heads of lettuce. Police are looking for a man who is drunk, well-cooled, and in need of roughage. A Florida woman has been sentenced to 20 years in prison after trying to have her ex-husband sold as a sex slave. This, husbands, is why you never pass gas in bed. She's already thinking of ways to get even. A pair of Michael Jordan's basketball shoes have been sold at auction for the highest price on record for a pair of game-used sneakers. The shoes, said to have been worn in the gold medal game in the 1984 Olympics, sold Sunday morning for over $190,000. Man, I only hope there's also a can of Febreze included as part of that deal. New York business owner Nick Gamale says he's just happy to be alive after being struck by lightning while sitting at his office desk. This happened in Rochester while Nick was inside his auto repair shop as severe thunderstorms rolled across the area. He says he saw a bright flash of light from the office's light switch, heard a loud crack, and then the lights went out. Gamale says it was a few minutes before he realized his left hand was blistered from getting hit by the bolt that arced through the light switch. The garage's manager was standing outside the shop door when he saw the bolt strike the sidewalk in front of the building. He wasn't injured, and Gamale was treated at a hospital and released. So, how was your day, dear? Ah, same old, same old. Just sitting there at my desk, getting struck by lightning. The California mountains are still covered in eight feet of snow. But global warming is totally real. Color-changing tattoos are being developed to help monitor blood sugar and other health stats. If she gets a full-body color-changing tattoo, hey, maybe Rachel Dolezal can identify as an African-American again. China is preparing for a manned lunar landing in the near future. They'll be doing it without a rocket, and instead we'll just have everybody stand on their shoulders. Phil Collins tripped and fell in his hotel room, suffering a severe gash on his head close to his eye. He's okay, but he had to cancel two concerts and a scheduled recording session in his Stu Stu studio. A painting collecting dust in an Arizona attic could turn out to be a Jackson Pollock original worth $10 million. My parents found a dust-covered painting in their attic last week, too. But it was just my first kindergarten project, which apparently wasn't good enough to tape to the fridge! If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe if you want to see more. And click that little bell icon next to the subscribe button to be notified when I post new videos. And if you're already an official weirdo, please share this video on your own social media. Find even more weird news that I didn't have time for on the Facebook page at DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com. I'm Darren Marlar, and have you noticed insane people are always sure that they're sane? It's only the sane people who are willing to admit that they're crazy. I'll see you next time, weirdos.